What's up guys, it's Dan with Muscle Icon. I'm here with Judge Mike O'Hearn. We're gonna go over some posing today. So Mike's gonna go through with um, a pupil Elias. We're gonna go through the uh, posing that you're gonna need to know for the stage. We're gonna try and go into some specifics that you guys can use to really enhance and bring out your physique and bring the best package that you can. I think that's a key point. We're, we're going to give you the basics on what you guys need to know. That's great. But then we're also going to give you the little tricks of the trade, things that people don't talk about. Um, not everybody has the most um, ideal physique. There's body parts that are still lagging at this level. And so we, as judges, we're okay if we didn't see it. If we didn't notice it and you're hiding it from us and you're showing everything else that's great, that's a win. That's a win for you. And that's something Arnold talked about a lot of the time. He always did a little bit of a twist because he had somewhat of a, uh, a thicker waist. Um, but his posing was incredible. He was alive on stage and that's one of the biggest points. We'll teach you about posing today, but you need to bring that energy to stage. You got to show the judges you're excited to be there. This is fun. You got passion for it. And then just bring that energy. Let that come out of you for the fans to see. I'm Elias and uh, it's awesome to shoot with those guys today. I'm from Austria. I moved here almost two years ago. I met Mike almost three years ago and he's guiding me a little bit right now and I'm glad we're gonna go over the posing today. But uh, otherwise, I did a show in 2019 and uh, maybe I'm gonna do another one very soon. Let's see. But yeah, let's see what I can learn today. Okay, so the first pose we're gonna go over is going to be a front double bicep. All right, so that's gonna be the first pose. So let's start with just that. So the main thing to look forward in the, look forward in this pose, they are looking at the biceps, but all the other muscle groups kind of flow in synergy with this position and enhance the overall look of the pose. And I like what he's doing. I like the little angles, the little the little flare he puts in there. It's not that typical straight across the board. Uh, side, uh, double bicep. Now I'm assuming this is one of those shots that you do a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that was, that was an easy one for yeah. you. Um, for you guys at home, the little notes that he did was he put out one leg just to kind of give a little bit more of a taper. So again, if those legs are just flat in, in close and you're flattening them, stay with me. Just yeah, flatten them, turn the knees out a little bit. Now put your arms up, keep it level. It's a little humdrum. It's a great shot for him but it's a little humdrum. So what he did is he gave more of a flare. So he instantly gave his legs a better line to the abs and bringing up a nice little tilt to it. So for me, that caught my eye and being a judge, ooh, all right, he's doing a little something different, which I, I can appreciate. So you've taken time to do this. I know that's a very minute thing, but just watching a guy get up there and give a little bit more to the pose is like, okay, he's done his homework. I kind of like that because I, I appreciate the homework guy right? compared to the guy that's up there and he's just never flexed before and is shaken. And so oh. so this is, that was a great one. Yeah, the other thing to think about is that a lot of times when you go on stage, you're not just doing the pose and moving on. Sometimes you're going to have, you know, during the comparison round especially, they're going to have you hold the pose for a little bit longer than you may anticipate or they may have you repeat it uh, a second time. So when you're going through your practice, make sure to practice holding the poses a little bit longer and that usually does translate on the stage with the shaking that Mike is talking about, or if uh, there's heavy breathing, things like that. So a lot of that you wanna to try to really refine before you get up there and get to show day. Um, so let's go to the second pose and let's do a uh, side chest. I'm gonna move into that one. Now right from the start, I would've done a little bit more intent, I guess the word would be. So the one thing that, relax for a second, the one thing that you're on stage, so there's none of this. <sighs> okay, let me just go to the next pose. Now, we're working with him today, so this isn't for him today, but it's for you guys. When you hit a shot, and you hit that, double, that front shot, boom, and then you come back to relax, you're never relaxed. You're still popping it. And then you go to the side chest, and you come around, and then you give it. So there's never this. There's never those moments. You're on. We're looking at you. So as soon as you relax from the side, yeah. then I see weaknesses. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah. This disappeared. This is what he's. This is what he's trying to show me. Mm -hmm. and this is what he's hiding. Yeah. So just that's for you guys at home to really take into consideration. We're watching the transition as much as we're watching the post. Mostly if it's a close contest. So let's go again. Go from that double bicep. And I'm gonna <coughs> call this bad boy out to you. Nice. All right. Side chest. Boom. Now for me. I'm gonna want those legs flipped. I'm gonna to wanna to see that nice hamstring from the front. Again, you always pose from the ground up. From the ground up, you always pose. Nice, I like that. Now obviously, with Elias, we could give a little bit more thickness if we turn a little bit, pull that arm up a little bit, make those hands a little smaller on the wrist, instead of all big and stuff, make it small. There you go. This. And then open up the shoulders. Because we're actually on this, which you guys may not know, is we're looking for thickness as well. We're not just looking for this bad boy and the cuts in the chest. We're looking for thickness in that body. How much density do you have? The taper to the waist and then back down to the legs. Looks good. Give me a side tricep. Okay. Didn't even need to move the legs. Legs are tight, good taper. Pulls it in there again. Good tilt. Now right now, we're on flat surface. Judges are gonna be a little bit lower, right? Mm -hmm. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to play to those guys instead of playing big to the back of the audience. Back of the audience, we want you to feel, mm -hmm. but play to these guys. So I wouldn't lean away from us, I'd lean towards us. Just like a lot of those guys on Instagram throw their arms really close to the mirror. It's the same kind of concept here. You want that bad boy forward as much as you can, not too much to throw out the balance and a good taper. And that's gonna be a visual downward. What are you thinking about when you're going through the pose? You know, um, what are you really trying to focus on the most? That I feel in the movement? Like, yeah, are you focusing more on the tricep, on the uh, waist turn? Is something more relaxed? Like, um, Honestly, I'm try if I don't have the mirror, which is the case when I pose in, on stage. I try to think of how it would look when I practiced. So having all those tilts there, flexing where I really have to flex, um, and always trying to focus that my stomach is in tight. Mm. Because if that comes out, it messes everything up. Yeah. So that's the number one thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Nice. I, I think uh, one of the big things is, it's the taper when you're out there, because people will let that stomach go. Uh, yeah. The taper of the waist, should be one of those things that you're always, you're posing and turning and moving around. And then everything comes in the sense of that's just balance. So it's not really a flex, it's just keeping it in tight. Mm. And then everything else comes from the ground up. And then the last thing is he made a point, which is tough. Seven weeks out, start posing in front of the mirror. Find what works, what looks best for you. Not the pose itself, but how the pose works best for you. And then get away from the mirror a good three weeks out. So in powerlifting, which has nothing to do with this except eyesight, people that powerlift, a lot of them would look in the mirror as they squat. And when, when you're on the platform, you're looking at the crowd, you're looking at the judges. Right. And so we are taught at a young age, when you powerlift, you're looking outside the cage and you're looking up at a spot. It doesn't matter if people are walking in front of you or nothing. You're looking at this and you're feeling the body without the mirror. Same thing here. You're gonna have to get to the point, no mirror. Which is a tough thing. Sounds simple. Well, if you're posing, you know how it feels. It's a different thing, posing without the mirror. Yeah. You're very, for me, very insecure. Am I hitting it right? Am I doing exactly what I did in the mirror? So it's, it's a good thing to do repetition. Yeah. I used to try to think of like, almost like checkpoints throughout my body that if we're, if those are locked in, then the pose probably looks similar to how I practiced. Right. You know, like men's physique, if you're hitting like a, you know, just like a men's physique pose, I try to make sure my waist is kind of pushing this way, the lat is pushing the arm and shoulder up a little bit. Um, so, I don't know, do you find that to be kind of similar while you're hitting that pose? Like are there, you know, other than the tricep, like, like uh, you know, with your waist especially, like um, are you doing anything specific to keep it locked in? Like are you pushing it a certain way or are you like pulling your abs in? Like It depends on the pose, but I try to get rid of the air in my stomach. Okay. So when I hit the pose, there shouldn't be any air lift. Yeah, especially when it's something directly from the front. Okay. I really try to suck it out until I'm almost cramping up 
and then everything is really gonna flex. Because nice. people think you hit it, I'm flexing, it's good. No, you have to get rid of all the air, then all the fibers are really gonna work. Yeah. yeah. Um, just going back to that front double, I noticed that um, for a lot of guys, when they go up with the rib cage like this, the abs kind of lengthen and they don't look as contracted. Are you kind of like going up and then coming down with the rib cage a little bit or? Yeah, it's, it's a tough one because when I hit it, I also have to keep in mind that I'm trying to stay upright and open up my right. lats because that's going to give the taper. But then in the end, I'm trying, to, trying yeah. to suck it down and also crunch a little bit as if I'm leaning back on an incline. Yeah, okay. yeah and that's going to give me that, uh, that big look still. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a great that point. And that's, that's that person yeah. in front of the mix. For my whole teenage career, I was ribcage up. Hmm. I wanted to be big. And then I come down here and working with the judges down here and Joe Weider and Joe Weider's like, no, 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 crunch the abs. Right. Don't even go up. You're already big enough. Your lats are just crunch the abs because then I just and it completely changed my front double bicep. Right. Night and day. So it's it's getting in front of that mirror again and, and find out really what works. Yeah. Because I think with the most of it, the front double bicep at an amateur level, you want to see the flare. Mm -hmm. But that flare comes from the elbows, believe it or not. I know that you, you can see the smallest, thinnest guys on Instagram, they're hitting it, and there's the line. So that automatically gives you a flare. So don't try to go bigger if there's nothing there, mm -hmm. in a sense, where there's still some abs that you can pose. Right. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. So, because I like how you do that and crunch down, because I get pulled right to the abs, and then the tilt gives it a nice classic, yeah. classic view. Right, right. And I know that a lot of people, when it comes to posing, a misconception of themselves. I know that's harsh sounding, but it's, I am so huge, I can go up like this, and right. I look bigger than everybody. Right. And you just thinned yourself out completely. Yeah. And, and it's on all these poses, a front lat spread, when they just totally, completely up and over, leaning back, mm -hmm. they completely disappear. Mm -hmm. Instead of slightly coming forward and flexing 70% instead of 100%. That's another thing. There's a difference between posing too hard and posing just right. Yeah, I noticed that when I did it, um, when I competed, I, sometimes I'd over flex and it would pull my physique in an unfavorable position and it just wouldn't look as good, you know, versus the 70% effort level. How'd you fix about. that? Um, I think I saw it the first time someone was filming me do it and then I tried to just remember what I, like how hard I was trying to do it on stage. But I think in the practice, you know, uh, practicing going slower and then, uh, trying to get the routine to look the way I wanted to without trying so hard. And I guess, yeah, I guess it was just practice in, in terms of uh, not looking like I was flexing so hard, <laughs> yeah. but I was in a way, you know. It's, it's kind a, of a cool art form because yeah. it should be fluent and, and poetic and, and pretty. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're showing, you're showcasing an art piece. It shouldn't look like it is tough and it's, it's tiring you out and it, it's painful. Yeah. And so I think that's one thing that as a judge, I want to see the guy uh, like Danny Hester, who's a famous first Mr. Classic bodybuilding winner of all mm -hmm. time. And when he poses, it's just a beautiful boom, nice and graceful. It doesn't need to be crazy hard. And especially if the body's it came in the best it has, mm -hmm. you know, and you're not trying to cover too many things. Right. So yeah. it's a give and take. There's a lot, a lot of aspects to this, and I'm glad we're doing this today. Yeah. Seven yeah. weeks out. Yeah. You exactly. guys need to work on this. Um, so we talked about the front last spread. Why don't we do that one next? Let's do okay. uh, front last spread. All right. So relax and go into it again. Go from a relaxed position, just standing, relax. Boom. I keep getting pulled back to your front delts. How high these bad boys are. Yeah. So, let's see if we can fix this. Yeah. So, I'm okay with the legs. Um, I'd maybe flip it even, go to the left out. You already did the right out, yeah. so give them a little something. Yeah. And then instead of trying to go up, yeah. go out. Just come out with it. Now this is gonna take some flexibility as well. Yeah. And muscle control. So I'm, just, I'm still time. trying to engage the lats to bring them out. Relax. Same thing. Ready? Grab on. Mm -hmm. Pull the elbows out. Just the elbows out. 
Go again. Back. Mm -hmm. Relax. Don't even really flex, except for your abs. Mm -hmm. Pull the elbows. Stay with me. Ready? Elbows out. Just elbows out. Don't worry about anything else. Jump up there. Tell me what you're seeing. Tell me what you're seeing. Jeffrey, what do you see? Let's go again. I, I see uh, too much internal rotation in the shoulder. So you're, you're, you're uh, dipping the shoulders forward yeah. while hiking it. And the, the right shoulder is more prominent. Mm -hmm. And that slight change that Mike suggested of putting the, the left leg out, yeah. what that did is it fixed, an balance. it, it balanced it out okay. in one way, but you still have to work on getting rid of those shoulders to dump. Don't lean so far back. Okay. Crunch down on your abs. Stay there, stay there. So this one, now again for everybody, you're, you're gonna have a pose that hiccups you. And for this one right now, it's just this rotation here. Mm -hmm. Stand up proper, good, shoulders, good. Because there's such a point here, it grabs my attention. Mm -hmm. And then I notice that the shoulders are not as developed yeah. as the arms, the chest, and the abs. Yeah. And so I'm going, okay, that throws me off. Yeah. Visually, because this is a visual thing. For me, it caught my attention. For another judge, you might like it. So it's again, it's a give and take here. But for me, in the long run, I right now want more shoulders yeah. to match everything else that's here. Yeah. Now you've been great on hiding that from the first double bicep to the side chest to the side uh, tricep. But on this one, it kind of stands out. Yeah. So the main thing for me, for you on this, is don't think about getting your back wide. Mm -hmm. Think about getting your shoulders wide. Mm -hmm. So it's here mm -hmm. instead of this. Okay. That was the two things I would change. Okay. So I would rather be pulling with the elbow out yeah. and not even worrying about the back. The back's gonna come with those elbows. So this is what I do and keep those shoulders down. Don't let them raise up. Mm -hmm. So that'd be something I'd work on. Okay. Cool. Um, so let's do uh, back double bicep. Yeah. Why don't we try that one? Yeah. You're way back. Stand up and show it to him. Don't hide it. There's a moment there that you go back mm -hmm. and then yeah, dip better. down. Okay. Yeah. You notice better. that? Yeah. Stay up. There's a lot of muscle here. There's a lot of muscle here. Oh, I like that so much better. Now we just lengthen this too. Now with the legs, this is a tricky one. Legs are tricky from the backside. So now what you gotta do is make that, that hip and waist look tiny. So how do we do that? Twist a little bit. Um, engage the abs. No, I, I, it's, it's still gonna come from the leg position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still gonna come from the leg position. The abs aren't gonna be in the plate. So they're gonna see the glutes, and that's when the glutes in the hip and waist, you can't really hide it. Mm -hmm. So do you got a thick hip and waist, or, yeah. or do you got a narrow one? Yeah. And so what I recommend is, it's a bit of a flare on both legs. So instead of just a little bit turn, I'd over exaggerate it mm -hmm. and pull one out, or pull the other out. Mm -hmm. Or you could do something completely different and make it as narrow as possible yeah. and let your back set up to stop. Okay. So now it looks like you got just little legs in it. Your back blows me away. Okay. As long as the glute hamstring's tied in, yeah. I'm happy as a judge. But keep that up. Don't yeah. hide it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's your money shot right there. Now, again, for everybody at home, Shows are one from the back. Mostly everybody has abs that show up on the show day. Or it should have abs. Everybody's kind of got a chest. The ladies have beautiful tapers. Same thing for guys. Most of the guys that are competing have good tapers and stuff. And the front is very close in a lineup with 10. But when you turn around, the forgotten muscles, the muscles you can't see in the mirror, that's where champions are made. Mm. And, and the shows are one from the backside. So it is that back, it's the glute hamstring, it's the calves, it's the things that most people, mm. oh, I can't see it so I don't really care. I'm not yeah, seeing right. that every yeah. day when I go to the mirror to brush my teeth and comb my hair. Yeah. So it's one of those things that right there is a real winner for you. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Um, and again. Yeah, why did you uh, pull so far up when you first did it? <laughs> because uh, 
I felt like it, uh, it gives a better illusion that I have more muscle in the lower, lower lat because I know I have it, right. but I want to show it even more. Mm. Yeah. I feel like it goes back to what we just said, just said. over flexing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I feel that I'm cramped up and all tight and bonded, <laughs> and that means I'm more muscular yeah. than everybody else. When this yeah. just got dwarfed. Yeah. Yeah. You by you, yeah. that second you just beat the first you. Yeah. Okay. And he didn't pose as hard, yeah. and he just stood up higher. Yeah. And he was taller. So in every aspect, he won. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a give and take, but I could see it. You, yeah. you could see it too. That, yeah. Mm, yeah. The one shot you can go crazy on, most muscular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, you want to go 100% on that bad boy, yeah. go crazy. But everything else is a fine tune. Right, right. Almost reminds me of certain sports where if you try too hard, it just doesn't work. Like if you swing a baseball sports. club or a baseball bat Golf, too hard, baseball, tennis, you miss almost yeah. every time. Yeah. yeah, those skilled sports you can't, you yeah. can't play in like that. Right, right. Yeah, this isn't powerlifting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go back to bicep, uh, yeah. back lat spread. Yeah, back lat spread. Let's do that one. There you go. You corrected it yourself. Yep. Beautiful shot. Nice. And I like what you did with the legs. That's a win. That's a win. Okay, let me see it. Now, this is not something that you have to do on stage during the mandatories, but let me see a lower back flex. Okay. All right. To be honest, I think I've never done it. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me see this. So, this can be a lower back flex. Show me everything you got there. Okay. Like this? Yeah, that's. Get it, get it, get it. Get those legs set. Good. Now pull it back. Good. Now put the hands there and spread out. Up. So what did you just do to me as a judge? As a judge. As a judge. What did I just see? Well, everybody else did what you did the first time. Mm -hmm. What did you do the second time? I, if I would be stage ready, I would show off my leanness in the back, yeah, because a lot of people don't have it back there. Um, uh, or even if they do have it. Even if they do have it, they don't show it off if, if they don't do that specific pose in that way. So you, usually I saw it in one of your videos, for example. Yeah. Yeah? You really see that there is only skin lift, yeah? and then you have the fibers. And if I do that on stage... You I, just told me you won. <laughs> you just told me you won. Because okay. everybody else, yeah. through this whole show right now, yeah. has gone from <sighs> uh, where you were hitting it the whole time, abs are solid, you gave me a little love, hey, I did my homework. Mm -hmm. And on the back lat spread, that's the whole metaphor for posing. Hey, do you guys know that I got this lower back? Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying to me. Mm -hmm. Did anybody else in this lineup have that? Whoa, that kid's in shape. Mm -hmm. And then, like, okay, you guys wanted back lat spread, I'll give you that too. Mm -hmm. So you gave me a little more. Yeah. And that's competing. Mm -hmm. That's the competition part on stage. Can you show me a little more than the guy next to you? It's first and second right there. Mm -hmm. If I put you in the middle, it's a dog fight. And you can't go back to the basics. Mm -hmm. Give him a little bit more. And that back lat spread on the second time through, the show's over. Mm -hmm. I just marked the card. I got to see nothing else. Mm -hmm. That boy's in shape. And shapely, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it also kind of shows that you like being up there. And I think that's also translates to stage presence. I think that was one thing for my first show that I, um, I felt rushed and I was almost like, you know, there's people waiting behind me, you know, there's, you know, the music's pumping, like I just want to get this done and move on. But, um, you know, I think, you know, yeah, the, the way Mike was explaining it, you know, you took the time to show something else before going into the shot. And, you know, I think that all translates into um, the stage presence aspect of it, which I think does sometimes get overlooked at some of these shows where the athlete will just kind of go up there and hit the pose, yeah. hit the pose, and then, you know, yeah. that's it. And exactly what you guys are saying, and, and the reason why I had him do the second one is because I know everybody at home that just saw that, that saw the two poses, him go to the back lat spread, and then him show the back lower lats, and the, the, that Christmas tree is already up, into the pose, you guys at home go, wow, that's, that was more impressive. Mm. That's what posing is. And if you guys take it so nonchalant, like, eh, that's irrelevant. Man, besides pushing water out of that muscle, the more fibers that you're posing. This is how they used to do it back in the days, back in the 20s and 30s, they would just pose to build their muscle. So don't, don't think this isn't irrelevant. 
On top of it, posing, for me, is harder than working out. It's harder than working out. Because it's annoying in one sense, because you want it to be always perfect. And you're trying to do perfect when you're seven weeks out. So your body's not even perfect yet. So that's frustrating. Right. But you got to start working with it. And so going into that point, it's just the whole concept is that posing is so key. And that's what's great about what you're doing with this show. You are putting emphasis on the posing. Yeah. And it, it's a huge part of the judging, which I absolutely love. Yeah. And it's something that's missing in today's sport. Right. You know, it's a, it's like an art show, like we we're talking about, you know, it's not just bodies on stage, but you know, it's a performance in a sense that you're putting on. Um, and so I think that all translates the stage presence being a big aspect of this. You know. It will leave an impression. I remember the guy yeah. that will happen to you. I remember you. It wasn't about the physique, it was about how you were on stage. I remember last year's winner. It's like a Clark Kent Superman yeah. lookalike. But he was he he was up there, he was something, and he performed to what he looked like. And it was right. I still remember him today. I don't know his name, don't know anything, but I could see him, I go, that's the kid that won the show. Yeah. And he just loved it. Yeah. So it, that's the impression you want to make. So it, it's one of those huge things that you could take fifth at a show. And this is for all of you. Yes, you want to win the show. Yes, you want to go in to win the show. But if you're in the best shape of your life and you take fifth, you won the show for yourself. You're better than you were. And then on top of that, there's somebody out there in the audience that goes, that's the look I like. That's, I'm a, I got a company, that's the person I want. The person that right. was first place that might have been more muscular, that just went like this and this, had no personality, I want fifth place. That's the person I want yeah. to represent my company. Right. So it's such a it's a, such a bigger thing than people really give it credit for. Yeah, no, absolutely, I agree. There is a, another one I wanted to go over was uh, abs and thigh. Okay. Um, now here's an opportunity. It's a great shot, you look great in it. How's the intercostals? The, the inner what? The inner costumes. This year? Yes. I mean, I have to engage it. You ever done any kind of posing from the side? Yeah. Okay, so this is a great opportunity. The pose itself is great. Done. He's an expert at it. He came around, put his hands up, gave some legs, hit the abs. But you can take your time too to give him a little something. Uh -huh. Okay. Same thing. And then come around and then crunch down. Okay. And the only other thing I'd put on all of this is really enunciate giving us the pose. So uh, some people that really do this and go back and watch these guys, but like Barry DeMay, um, Bob Paris, these guys really, they come around and hit their shots and you know, boom, and hit those things. Come around, boom. Mm. And it's just that moment of just talking to me yeah. Without talking to me. Yeah. So, so do the abs again. It's a great shot. It's a great shot. It's a good shot for you. I would just go, like Arnold says, go bigger. Okay. In the sense. So, if you're going to give him the shot, hit that shot. Yeah. Come around to the front. In that thigh, mm -hmm. pull it around. Don't just put your hands behind the head and hit it. Bring it up. Yeah. I'm bigger than all of you. Mm. Bam! That kind of thing. Okay. Those are just little things. Yeah, but they again, make a difference. Yeah. To make you stand up from the next guy over. Yeah, can you talk about what you're doing with your foot? Um, when you, uh, you know, you kind of went right into pointing your toe. Are you leaning yeah. into it or are you? I mean, first of all, I don't feel 100% confident with the pose yet. So okay. if I compare it to my front double biceps, it's like night and day yeah, yeah. at this point. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to flex my calves and I'm really trying to flex my, my quads. Okay. Yeah. And just pressing against the floor helps me a little bit to straighten my knee, which is going to flex it more. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And then uh, what about your lats? Like, are you, um, you know, are you crunching down but also elevating them? Like, talk about that. It's, uh, like I said before, Imagining I'm laying down on an incline bench. Okay. So that my lats are still popping because mm -hmm. otherwise the taper is lost. Okay. Yeah? I have good lats, I know that, so why not show them as well? And right. if I just crunch down, it's it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a combination of really just laying back, showing the lats, crunching down, all the air out, and then you have it. I notice yeah. a lot of people when they do the ab shots, they'll grab the head. Mm. So turn around. 
So what they do is do an uh, ab shot. They'll do just like this. So the main, main thing here is that I was taught, it's a great thing, is that I would keep the hands like this mm -hmm. yeah. instead. Yeah. Two things happen. One is your elbows are wider. Yeah, now come back true. around to the front, put the hands in close, elbows in tighter, yeah. crunch down the abs. Okay. Now, from there, reverse the hands, pose the bicep and pose the elbows out. Now this will take practice, but I love, and I can see your massive biceps coming down to a taper, yeah. and you can even turn the hips a little bit. And then pull that left shoulder forward. Boom. Keep those elbows out. Because it's again, it's an illusion from this to this to back out. I like what that bent wrist did for the bicep. I brought that yeah. out a lot. Yeah. I haven't seen that before. That was really cool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an Arnold one that taught me. Yeah. So there's a couple of poses that Arnold taught me. Now he's teaching Jeffrey over here. But that was one of the first things is that I'd grab it and I'd pull in. And he's like, what are you doing? I said, no, no, no. Put it big. Open it. And it's an awkward position with the hands. But they don't see it. I don't see yeah. it. And then I see this wide elbows taper down to this. And now this is great for for anybody even if they're not massive yet obviously posing gets easier if you got more muscle mass mm. but at an amateur level it's a lot of hiding what you don't have and showing over showing what you do have he has great biceps so i'm still seeing his biceps on an ab shot and yes we do notice that i know that you would think no no we're just focused here maybe on the quad a bit i'm looking at everything i'm looking at the structure yeah so in the front ab shots one of those biggest ones that shows thickness of waist. So you want to make that waist as small as possible. Yeah. Can we do one more thing? Yeah. Let's go through just the mandatory relaxed position. Okay, yeah. So uh, the good? quarter turns? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so start with, uh, you know, just front relaxed. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm assuming that everybody at home knows that even though it's called front relaxed, you're not relaxed. But it should look as though it is very comfortable. Something else I was taught is always push those toes like he's doing into the ground. And that keeps those quads flex when you're on stage. I'll even do a little something that I picked up from Danny Hester is I come up a little bit. I'm on my toes and leaning slightly forward. Not too much, it's minute, minute. But it just keeps my legs flexed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, for the guys that, uh, if this is your first time competing, at some point the judges are going to call out, um, are going to have you go through these different poses. Front relax, they'll say quarter turn to the right, quarter turn to the right, and quarter turn to the right. So outside of your choreographed routine, if you're doing men's open or classic, um, you know, the judges are going to use this opportunity to see everybody in the same position um, outside of the mandatory. So, um, so we'll do, let's do the, do the front relax one more time. It's again, not really relaxed. Nice, and then the judges will say quarter turn to the right, and so they're just gonna shift. By the way. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You're on the right. <laughs> this one, for example, uh, I need some instructions because I have, haven't done it in such a long time to do it properly. So this is one of those turns that on the stage, never go complete side. So the first thing you did was, you disappeared on me. You went yeah. from here to here. Yeah. Where you always go from here to here. There's no disappearing. Mm -hmm. I'm still right at you. And it's shoulder to shoulder. Mm -hmm. Compared to the guy that goes straight to the, oh, he just disappeared on me. There's no density there. There's no thickness there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I've seen some of your weakness. What else? So that's something you don't want to do. So yeah. again, front relaxed. Yeah. Stand strong. Okay, quarter turn to the right. Let's go back to it. Go back straight. Yeah. Just move your legs. Okay. So you're here. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Step. Okay. Okay. Boom. Step. Now, when you step all the way, mm -hmm. 
I will push my hip away from the judges. Yeah, to make it small. And then tilt those shoulders yeah. back to it. So you're pushing against yourself to give yourself a very relaxed mm -hmm. but beautiful taper. Mm -hmm. And then you always want that back shoulder showing because mm -hmm. that's going to give you the thickness. Yeah. Okay. Is he like pushing that arm from back he here? He is pushing that arm against that chest, boom. And then push that shoulder back. So for you guys at home, this is a rotation thing. Not everybody's gonna have, this is chiropractic, this is massage, this is all those things. He's very tight here and his shoulders are rotated forward. What I want is those shoulders back. And we'll work on that. Now that's, everybody's different. Keep that waist, remember you're fighting yeah. this to this yeah. and that taper. Because what I want to see, my first eyesight goes right to this. Mm -hmm. Go sideways. I'm looking here for any lower back fat. Where's the condition on this? Then I'm going right to here. Is there any kind of thickness development here? Now one thing with the legs on this one is great. You can do that whole high school trick where your arm looks big because you're pushing it against, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with the legs. So when you go sideways, you're pulling that leg in against the back leg. And now you've got this hamstring and glute that sticks out a mile. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where they are. My feet are on top of each other mm -hmm. instead of like this. Mm -hmm. These are little things that you guys will find out. So again, for you guys at home, when I'm turning sideways, I'm from here, I'm pulling that against and pushing it. And so you can see the feet are this close together. So if you watch any pro shows and you see backstage shots and how they fit, you're gonna actually see all these guys, judges are there, the pros are here, they're lined up, th they're lined up this way. But you're seeing their bodies not trying to portray beautifulness here, but prettiness there. And they're all like this. Legs are close and they're leaned forward to this side. So that's how it looks on that position, which gives you a thicker, better body. Nice. So uh, let's follow that up. Again, they're going to say quarter turn to the right, so that means now going from the back. Yeah. So um, start from that um, okay. second quarter turn shot and then yeah. go to turn to the back. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. So which, which foot is forward? That one. This one. You got it. Hamstring, good. Good taper. Now I'd always make the hand small. Okay. That was something I, and I uh, always overlooked is what are my hands doing? Like, do you keep them like, <laughs> I make them relaxed? small. I'll, okay. I'll do a long position like this. So okay. it just kind of continues mm -hmm. forward. Okay. And a quarter turn, open up. Legs are open. Yeah, it looks like that open leg shows like the quad out here on the side. That looks really good. So toes are slightly out because we're behind. If the toes and knees are forward, watch this. Put your feet forward, toes forward, just like this. Just stand right here. Just Rot right. Rotate uh, the toes together. Yeah. Yeah. So then just move them out, open up the yeah. quad. Yeah. So it just gave this whole shape to the lower body. And then from the back lats, pull them out. Again, for you guys at home, the number one thing for me, I think, is don't think of pulling your back out. Everybody, you cannot, give me your point of view on this yeah. too, is they think this is big when it's actually just this. It's just, you're just opening it. You're not trying to flex it open. Right. So it's, it's not a lat spread. Keeping the arms back gives a little bit more tension on it. Also gives me some tricep thickness. Don't forget, you're doing a back lat spread, right? A back relaxed pose, you're showing, but I'm looking at everything. Mm. So a lot of the time the guys' will, arms will be so far forward because they're flexing their back and they're trying to right. round it. Mm. And so then this disappears. Yeah. And then they've got little T-Rex arms. In between, <laughs> would you even flex the triceps? Just short to show it off. It, it's a moderate flex because the line's gonna be there because you'll be so lean on uh, the show. Yeah. Um, and it's the same thing for the, for the quads. Your toes are pushed in, you're raised up, you're open and it brings it open. Mm -hmm. I'm doing more of a, lat, uh, a lateral raise than I'm doing a pull. Mm -hmm. So it's just open boom for me. Okay. And that's something I could see on people when, when they're up there and they're just like, <clears throat> everything disappears and I just yeah. see lats. Right, now, right. 
I get it. You got the best back on stage. I see it. You got no arms, no legs. Everything else is gone. Yeah. So again, this is a whole body thing. And this is what we talk about when I train. If we're working the rear delt and there's some trap getting worked and there's some uh, little tricep and other things, it's okay. People get so carried away with, I gotta work my rear delts, but that's all that works. Mm. Have the insertions, everything around it working. So yeah, I like what you said that the lines will be there because your conditioning will be there on the yeah. shoe day. You don't have to over flex to bring those lines out as much. You know, um, I thought that was a really, uh, really good point. And then uh, let's just finish off with the last quarter turn to the right. Yeah. So facing the wall. Yeah. So let me see you go into that. Yeah. So go all the way back around. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm down here and I'm judging you. All right, I think this kid's gonna win it. Quarter turn. So I do the opposite with the leg. Yeah. Because you're showing me something behind there. There you go. Good taper. This is your side you pose to. You can instant see, yeah. instantly see that. Yeah. Good lines, good lines. And he's got this down. Better rotation on the shoulder. And again, small hands. Yep. And quarter turn again. Boom. And give me your favorite classical pose. Oh, you, I mean, you guys knew at home. <laughs> we could have put money on this in Vegas. He knew he was going to that. Oh, with the oh. tilt. <laughs> he gave you the view. <laughs> Mount <laughs> Olympus, I am here. <laughs> For any guys at home that have any other questions about posing specifically, um, you know, while you're going through your team, tag us in your in your uh, in your posts. You know, we'd love to uh, see what you guys are working on. And then um, remember, on the day of the show, you've done your work. There's nothing more that you can create that day. You know, so just trust the work that you've done. And um, I would, I always made the mistake of practicing too close to the show because I saw a lot more lines come in. Um, maybe some people can get away with that, but if you, if this is your first time, start practicing now. You know, if you can make your physique look good now, it's only going to look better as you get more condition and lean uh, closer to the day of the show. So, but that was great. Thanks for. Uh, hey, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, being the uh, the example. That was awesome. Yeah. And Mike, thank you for all the advice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, I love him or hate him, but he knows his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just love me. Yeah. <laughs> and I just do want to mention one more time that, um, you know, Elias is not going to be competing on our stage. And anyone that you see on our page that we use as an example is either going to be a former winner of a competition uh, or someone who's a model that you won't be end up com uh, competing on stage. So for anyone that's thinking, am I going up against this guy? Um, that won't be the case, and we try to be consistent with that with the content that we put out uh, in case anyone's wondering. So we'll see you guys on show day, uh, June 26th. Don't forget your, to get your tickets. You can go to the link in our bio and uh, hit the uh, ticket button on right at the very top. Don't forget to book your hotel and your tan ahead of time. It's always important to have everything organized before the show gets too close. You're going to have a lot to stress about already, so get that taken care of way ahead of time. Well, I want to know what's next. We have seven weeks. Yep. So how can we help them continue forward on this journey? Um, over and above, I think we should come back and do another posing session yeah. and see if you could work on some of the little tricks um, and see what we can do with your shoulders in the next couple weeks too. Yeah. And then, uh, but what should we do next for these guys? I'd love to hear um, from them as well. Will you guys comment yeah. below? Let us know what you guys would like us to come back and help you guys with. Because um, we talked about different styles of training as we're getting ready, how to be safe. Yeah. Posing, I think it would be a great point now would be as we're continuing forward how we could maybe talk about nutrition Yeah, and plateaus as you're getting sliced Because mm -hmm. I think it's one of the hardest things as, as we all know about dieting is seven weeks We start freaking out a little bit. We start going hmm. I don't know if I'll be ready or not And so trusting the process and nutrition be maybe right. a real key point to talk about next week yeah okay yeah let's see if we can cover that and then um, maybe ways that you can peak or draw the water out uh, the correct way um, so that you're not over you know dehydrating or you know um, I've seen things kind of go bad sometimes where guys will pass out backstage or cramp up in the wrong those are huge points because I, I think that's a key point because you can win or lose a show in the last 24 hours yeah so as we continue forward let's let's walk into that as well yeah, so maybe we can go over uh, nutrition, maybe some mindset stuff. Um, you know, I know, I remember uh, in the pumping iron, 
movie, Arnold talked about like blocking out anything that would interfere with his, you know, uh, with his mindset in terms of you know throwing him off, anything that would raise the cortisol levels. Um, you know, if he broke up with his girlfriend and then his physique, you know, just kind of disappeared. Um, I think I've seen that with yeah. nutrition. Um, mindset going in, trust in the process. Mm. Um, maybe if you're working with a trainer, trust in the trainer. Uh, dehydration. So we got a lot to cover. So yeah. we're going to keep bashing these out every week. Yeah, yeah. Um, Love it. Let's keep going, guys. Again, cool. make sure that you follow Elias um, and uh, keep following us. We are going to keep coming back with more info for the show because I'm excited about the show. Yeah, I'm excited about be, what you're doing. It's going to be amazing. Um, feel free to comment in the comment section below. You know, you're not going to get knocked for any questions you have. Right now, there are no bad questions um, and chances are someone else is wondering the same thing. So um, comment below. Feel free to message us directly or if you have any questions specifically about the show that you want to email me, you can email me at dan at muscleicon.com. And again, all the event information is on the website. Just hit the event tab and you should see uh, all the stuff as far as rules and regulations, the height classes, there's pull down menus for all that stuff. And again, uh, let us know what more we can do uh, to help answer your questions and make you feel more comfortable and confident on the day. Huge part is, I know it's seven weeks. There is time, it's over seven weeks. There is still time if you guys want to compete in this show. Yeah. I say, let's get started now, today. Let's start going. Yeah, and I do also want to mention there is a thousand dollar cash prize, sponsorship, and brand development training for the winners. Oh, I'm so competing, that's man. something that um, you will not find at any other amateur show. So be, uh, please feel free to uh, share this, and anyone else that you think that might be interested in competing and jumping on stage. Like Mike said, there is still time to uh, make that switch and jump into our show. So uh, we'll see you guys June 26th, and then uh, we'll see you guys very soon for another video. And I would like to say uh, thanks for uh, Elias standing here for the last five minutes in his yep. underwear. <laughs> That's great. <laughs>